Mark, what are you doing? She's tearing you apart. Oh, really? Oh, oh, Viltra, uh, uh, my general, who's trained for combat, is tearing me apart? Oh, wow, I wonder why. And have you trained me? No, you didn't. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. On Deck, Invincible, Season 2, Episode 4. Now, listen, the cliffhanger at the end of last episode. Excuse me. Excuse me while I take that in. So, Omni Man thinks he can just lure. Ma is it lure or leer? Leer? Lure? Lore? So, Omni Man just gonna lure. Uh, Mark, by the way, is six day journey across space. Six days. This dude has homework. He has college. First day. First day of college. Your deadbeat dad who beat your ass on top of a mountain, left you there to die, dragged you, literally dragged you across the city, beat you up left and right, black and blue, calls your mother a pet. <laughs> threatens to destroy your whole planet, reveals to you that he's been lying to you your whole life, all of that. And he says, yeah, you must accept it today and you must join me in my campaign to annihilate the world because you're Viltramite. No, please, just take a moment for that to sink in because we know Mark didn't have a moment. And now you bring me to this planet under false pretenses and you're like, hi, Mark. So you can tell more lies and ask me to come go commit atrocities with you or to help you because you fucked up. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Is this all adding up for you guys or is it just me? Because if I were Mark in that moment right now, oh, I'm ready to throw hands. And don't count me out because you beat me the last time. Oh, I'm ready. I've been practicing. And you know what else I brought? I brought my buddy Adam Eve. Well, she gonna lock you up in a cage. <laughs> Mark is too kind. They should have sent me instead. I will fight. I'll teach you a lesson so you will keep my name out of your damn mouth and you will keep planet Earth's name out of your damn mouth. You will go back to Viltrum and tell them you failed. See, I failed. Punish me. That's how I'll beat you. <sighs> it sounds dramatic, but I mean, come on. You heard all that. That's a lot. So let's see what Mark does. I'm anxious to see what Mark does this episode. I hope he throws down. I hope he lunges at him and slaps him across the face. Just let me get a quick one. Let me get a quick, let me just get a quick. There better be some Adam Eve this episode. I want to see her throw down. I want to see her fuck some shit up. Don't forget, we saw the prequel, so we know what she can do. I know you guys are saving it for a big moment, but we're all waiting. I can't wait for her to go one-on-one -on -one with a filter might not have full power. They'll be very surprised. They'll be like, oh. Who is she? We didn't know about you. Young girl, come over to the dark side. I am excited. Why don't we dive in? He just kept going. Is it going to Australia? Better get those travel miles. Some ship was, oh, here we go. This is how he met these guys. The ship was malfunctioning. I look at him being altruistic all of a sudden. Oh wow, you remembered your hero? Shocking. Or maybe it's self-serving. Because he's like, hmm. Purpose. We owe you our lives. Tell us your name. Where you come from. If only they knew what, what Viltramites were. They'd be like, thank you, but you can leave. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. Beat his ass. Fight him. Dad? Punch and ask questions later. Pummel. Right. That's what I like. <laughs> Round two. Give it. Start quick. <laughs> Don't waste time, Mark. No, do not hug. Do not hug this man. Don't hug this man. If you hug this man. He hugged this man. He hugged this man. Listen, I'm a citizen of planet Earth, you understand? So I'm looking out for our safety, I'm looking out for our protection, I'm looking out for existential threats. And here is one right here. In my own perspective, you just betrayed planet Earth. I don't care that he's your dad. This man is a mass murderer. He's a mass murderer and a threat. So this right now means you're aiding and abetting. This right now is giving me a different view of you, Mark, because you're supposed to beat his ass and say, don't mess with me anymore. But maybe it's a long game. Maybe he's playing a long game, he's trying to, Get him all like, oh, son, my little boy. And when it's time, <clears throat> I missed you. Oh, I'm sure you did. Thraxians told me that they needed my help. They do need your help. From you. Now, why would you lie to me again? Mm hmm Killed thousands of people. Why would you think I'd ever want to see you again? You called mom a pet. Right. I can't believe you put them up to this. Made them lie to me, too. Slap him. I made a mistake, and I've thought about you every day since a mistake a mistake you made a mistake when you were dragging my head through a train you made a mistake 
Now let me make a mistake now with my fist in your fucking face. I'm gonna punch you out. That's the mistake I'm willing to make right now. Motherfucker. Fuck you. Fly home. Oh, you're trying to follow? Come back and we'll talk. Oh, you want to talk? What are you going to do if I don't? Knock all my teeth out again? You can try. His people do need your help. Let me tell you why. I don't care. Fly away from this man. Five minutes. For them. Not you. <sighs> More lies. I need a universal restraining order against this man. I didn't conquer the Thraxons. They asked me to be their emperor. I'm sure. And I'm sure he didn't complain. They were like, hey, you want to be our emperor? I said, yes. Immediately. He's like, what are the benefits? And uh, when do I start? I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I didn't want it. Well, you wanted it. You love power and strength. Mm. Okay. What did I just see? Okay, I'm gonna need a break. What the fuck did I just watch? Welcome to our home. My husband's told me so much about you. Yo, who? Are you serious right now? You know you're still married, right? What the fuck is going on? In front of your son, whom you're still married to his mother. Say your husband. She trifling. She's like, my planet needs help. I'm in such danger. But here you are, sucking face. You don't seem all that bothered about your impending doom. You gotta watch this one. Did I misspeak? You know who she is? She's Jolene. She's who Dolly Parton was, was talking about. She's her right here. She found a way to escape to another planet. And here she is, doing the same thing she was doing on Earth to Dolly Parton. She'll do it to you, too. You're married to mom. Right. I can't go back to earth mark the life i had there is over he said magic erase just leave and then everything is fine no you will come back to answer for the sins and the crimes you committed super glad you got to show me how great your life is without us mm -hmm. that's not what i wanted to show you what is else it? could you possibly oh mark. lord are you serious right now who is that this is your little brother oh lord are you playing right now he stayed just having children here and there the first one you have you have not taken care of you left on, a, on another planet you beat to death and now here you are with another one and i know you'll tell him lies and then you beat that one again wow she walking home barefooted damn you know it's bad when it gets to this you know what i know if she get her hands on that man i know she will be singing a different tune you think she'll stop for a quick five minutes to discuss some uh current problems or she will slap him left and he'll be like wow i didn't know you that strong everything we built 20 years and none of it was real the way he broke this woman the way he broke her i never knew you at all did i and the worst part is he says oh you're a pet is that how you treat your pets so even that one is a lie we need to know what happened to Donald. It's uh, it's Donald. Yeah, from what planet? Not from this one. Also, maybe start by taking off these glasses. Maybe that will bring some sympathy to your situation. I need to see your eyes, like, sometimes. Yeah, that's where you died. You can show up, not show up, sleep in. You know you're paying to be here, right? You sure know how to take the fun out of skipping classes. Right, right, Amber. Amber, you better pipe down. With your judgmental attitude, let him skip class. I wonder if Amber has called Mark's mom to tell him he's on a different planet. But here she is lecturing, and she's not a professor. Hey, William! Uh, it's out of me! I, I don't... I don't even know what to say. He's way older than six months, which means you are- Thraxon biology is different than ours. Don't touch him. I didn't replace you, Mark. Yes, you did. I was lost when I left Earth. Here we go. Sympathy. I saved lives. It was like I had a purpose again. Mm. Here we go, the P word. <laughs> it felt right to stay and help them. Oh, oh, so now you're a good guy, right? Yeah. Medal of Honor. He won the Nobel Peace Prize because he saved one ship. By and now, Viltrum knows I've left my post. Exactly. They'll track me. And kill you. They'll see your brother as inferior and kill him. So what do you want? I can't stop them alone, but we can stop them together. You almost killed me, then lied to me to get me here. Right. And now you want me to risk my life to save some kid you had with another woman while still married to mom? Preach. Can you imagine? You have transgressions. You haven't answered for them yet, and now you're calling me to help you save your son that I just met. Work together to save your brother from my planet full of monsters and invaders. I will leave you on red. What I did on Earth was... What? Unforgivable. Oh. All these people will die without oh. our help. Ooh, all of a sudden now he's the Messiah. Are they going to replace the tens of thousands you murdered in cold blood? That's very rich. You're the reason they're in danger. You signed their death warrant, not me. Slap him. I'm asking you to help me save them. Fuck you. Right. How can I help? I couldn't even beat you. We can start training, get you ready for what's coming. 
Mark? I'm thinking. He needs to take a collect call to Earth. Where is the phone line? Let him talk to his friends. Let him talk to his mother. When the Viltrumites come and they are too many or too much for us to, to take on. And then we all die and we get beaten almost close to death and then back to square one. And I have class on Monday morning. Remember that one? What was that? They're here. We need more time. Nolan? Here we go. He said, he said, let's start training. Yeah. Better get the time stone so we can go back in time and train. What in the Robocop? I'm even about to dissect you. Put Robot's thing back and I won't beat the living shit out of you. How's that for a deal? Exactly. You never told me what his name is. We allow children to choose their own name once they come of age. When? Braxton lifespans aren't like humans. Only one of your years. They live for one year? I didn't knowingly try to replace your mother. Oh, really? She says she didn't knowingly try to do it. But let's watch the tapes. Let's rewind. And, I, and I'm sure you'll see her. She's like, Oh, how are you doing? Oh, oh Nolan. You seem like you're having a rough day on Earth. You killed all those people. You know, you're not a bad person, Nolan. You're a good guy. You did what you had to do. If Mark joined your cause, then he, you, you wouldn't have had to kill those people. So it, really, it's Mark's fault. Mm? Do you want a kiss? Yeah. That's how it went down. Bug lady, snatch that baby from her arms. The great Nolan fathered a child with an earth woman. Here we go. What do you want? If you fight well, we may allow you to join the empire. Allow this fist in your mouth. I'm warning you. Maybe I wasn't- Oh! Oh, you need to punch more than that. Are you sure you're Nolan's son? Oof. I'm not an insect like these creatures. You know the thing? Mark is taking a beating and he's come back every time. Have you taken a beating and have you survived? So you better shut your mouth. Damn. Oof. Get beat. Stay away from my children. Right. You've dishonored your people! What people? You deserve death! Oh! Go deeper into the caves. Mark, come with me. By the time that boy comes out, he's probably gonna be fucking ready to go to school. Oh, watch out. Be careful. Man, Adam is playing with him. She needs to put him down very quickly. Yeah. CPR. I need help here! Check for breathing and pulse. This is why she doesn't want a superhero anymore. I'm not ready for the truth, Donald. Run now! <gasps> Watching yourself die like that? Yeah, I remember that. He got his spine got snapped. Who are you talking to? <gasps> yeah, that's what happened. And then for some reason, here he is. What in the cyborg? Oh no. They've destroyed the whole planet. Just look at it. They made quick work of them. Dad? Dad? What? Why do I care about them? You better redirect that tone to somebody else. Because guess who those people were that just did this? Your people. Your family. They came in here and beat us all up, killed all these people. And now you're trying to turn it on me? Better lower that tone. They were weak. Short-lived. Barely a species. Wow, drag them while they're down. Literally. Doesn't mean they should die. You don't understand! I'm not supposed to feel this way! Whose fault is that? You better go to your therapist and go sort out your issues and not be screaming at me. I'll kill you for what you did to these people. Really? Then do it. Because you're Nolan's son, I'll make this quick. Oh, oh my god. She says Sindel. I promised I'd make it quick. Oh! Talking won't keep you alive, Vital. Oh, two and one. Mark, what are you doing? She's tearing you apart. Oh, really? Oh, oh, Viltra, my general, who's trained for combat, is tearing me apart? Oh, wow, I wonder why. And have you trained me? No, you didn't. What you did was beat me up and left me for dead. And now you're asking me, why? Why aren't you stronger than, than, than a freaking Godzilla? Slap this man, please, while in combat. Stop holding back, or you're gonna get us both killed. I'm not holding back. You kinda are. You need to fight like a Viltrumite. That's scary. If you don't do this, we're all dead. You're gonna have to kill her, Mark. There's no other way around it. Just kill or be killed. Slice her stomach. Wow. Cut that hair. Grab that thing. Right. Exactly. Slap. Yeah, I got Viltra my DNA. Have you heard? 
Exactly. Slap that bitch. This is how they fight. Oh my god. Oh, do you see his head slice into two? Do it. Straight through. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh! Oh my god. I mean, say what you want about Omni Man, but even within his people, he is still badass. Damn, the way he took these two people out. Honestly, like, I know I was saying a lot about him all this time, but if I was there and I was Mark, I'd be like, <laughs> Dad. Dad, you bad, you bad. He's like, I know you're not talking. I saw you over there say shit about me some 10 minutes ago. This bitch that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. What's good? I know you're not talking. Damn, he's badass. Are you okay? No. Don't worry. It's over. Really? Oh, that was spine. This guy survived somehow? Oh, he's carrying his inch. It's time you kill somebody. Make sure. It's. He literally said, let me take a bag for my intestines so I can go back and break someone's spine. I don't know what kind of regimen they go through as soldiers, but we need to call the police. Dad. Mark, don't forget the good I did. Oh. My work, my deeds. Your deeds. Read my books, Mark. Which books? He said, read my books. I'll start by getting surgery first and trying to recover. Then maybe I'll listen to what you're telling me. He's like, who am I? Am I a real human being? Don't cut yourself. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be a machine. It's blood, you're real. But now you just injured yourself. Say thank god. But I watch, maybe the blood will turn green. Save that for the Viltramites. When they come back, what? <gasps> oh, the knife curved. Oh, wow. He's a super, he's Captain America. You're alive. Oh. My name is General Kree. You've survived your first true battle and proven yourself worthy of your Viltramite heritage. What? Go oh, fuck it. Oh, he says shut the fuck up. Your father will be executed. You will assume his mission and prepare the planet for our rule. Absolutely not. You can kill a few humans to convince them to capitulate, or we will kill millions. Then bring it on. We will check on your progress soon. Bring it on. Go bring the horde. I'm ready. Because I'm not taking on this shitty ass mission. Go bring the horde. I got my Adam Eve. I got Amber's annoying personality. I'm sure it'll fucking take some people down. And we got a whole host of people. Donald is getting his powers. They're, they're coming on strong. We don't know what he can do yet. There's a lot of people. And we're going to call the Lionhead guy from the other planet. Oh, we're stacked. Get ready. And now I know you guys can die. And you guys can get beaten up. So we're already ready. We got that creature at the bottom of, of the sea who has this sound things. Oh, we are stacked. And I know Cecil got some stuff he hasn't told us about yet. So we're stacked. And unlike your father, we do not change our minds. Please. Good luck on your mission. Take your one eye out of here. Where do I start? Where? This was a good episode. We've been waiting for a true Omni-Man story. Like, you know, we, we want the continuation from last season. We want to, you know, get back to the action. We want to get back to the Viltramites. And they gave us a little bit of everything, which was amazing. We got the Viltramites come in. We got to see Omni-Man with Viltramites, like in the same scene, them having a conversation, talking. Mark was able to hold his own. That was wild. It does concern me, you know, that, that Mark is now going to know that he can do it. And so he can take on a Viltramite. And he could have, he, he, he got the upper hand. He could have killed her. He now knows in order to fully get to it, he doesn't have to hold back. That's how to fight like a Viltramite. He has the strength. He has the speed. So you just have to go for it. Go for the jugular every time. It's a scary thing to learn. This is going to shake him for a little bit. Omni-Man, oh my god. I mean, yes, there's a part of me that says, yes, he's a little bit remorseful, that he cares. It still doesn't take away what he did, right? And now this kid, what is this kid going to do? What is this kid going to be? Because clearly they said they age pretty quickly. So we're going to see this kid age up pretty quickly. I mean, that's good for the plot. Now the Viltrumites are in play. They know what's going down. I mean, the audacity, the audacity for the Viltrumites to just show up, beat his dad and say, yeah, Take on his, his position. We're going to leave you in, in his position now. So step up and do it. And if you don't, we'll destroy your planet. Excuse me, you are going to destroy my planet anyways. So just do it. Bring it on. 
instead of giving me a job? And what's the payment? What is the payment for this job? Have you talked about benefits? What about dental? Life insurance? I didn't hear any of that. The voter might have some nerve. They really have some nerve. Who are you? Who, who made you God? You get to come out, come down and give interplanetary jobs. Wow. That economy is booming, isn't it? ET phone home. Mark needs to phone home immediately and like say, Hey, yo, it's going down. Like, whatever else you guys were doing, homework, college, yeah, pause. Because now we have no protector except me, and I'm not ready. And these Viltrumites are trying to come down and uh, take progress reports. No. I enjoyed it. I had a good time, and uh, I can't wait to see what comes next. They're leading up to an explosive finale, and I'm ready. And I know Adam is going to bust ass. She's going to be like, You dare talk to me? With her hair going up. How dare you now kneel before Adam Eve? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, like, uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.